long elevator ride. Okay. Ah, oh, save point. Who would have thought? Castle elevator. It doesn't even say anything about determination. That's sad. The elevator is in use. It's gonna be the dick, isn't it? Oh! Wait, what? Wait, what? Long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Oh god, it's gonna get deep, isn't it? Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Sorry, Chad, if I'm gonna ruin this moment for you. I feel like I will. Room under renovations. Over time, Azrael and the human became like siblings. King and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Clothes drawer, a robes button, and a pink and its sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. Gore's journal. All the current pages says it's a nice day today. I think it's still almost wet. I see. Woman renovations. There's a heart shaped locket inside the box. Would you take it? Sure. There's a worn dagger. A <laughs> worn dagger? <laughs> Human became very ill. The sick human had only one request to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Ezreal, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Ezreal reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human into it, onto it, my bad. Music go. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Ezreal holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Oh, fair enough. The humans attacked him with everything they had. 
He was struck with blow after blow. Azriel had the power to destroy them all. But Azriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will, let, will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Last corridor. Wait, what? Does that get me all the way back again or something? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, last corridor. Let's go, boys. Okay, I'm, I'm excited to see the end of this. Pete is, Pete is watching really, really... So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You will be judged. Oh god. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. Oh, fucking hell. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. Wow. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. Wow. Plot twist. I mean, I kind of saw this coming because I won't spoil it like right at the beginning of the playthrough for me, but... Holy shit. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. And love stands for something else. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to be in your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. What happens now, we leave up to you. Damn, son. Throne room. Wait, what? It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Pete. It's empty. Wait, what? Two, three, four. That's going to be the souls of the guys that they collect, isn't it? 